Hi, welcome back again. Today I create tutorial with the migration Laravel 5.5. Yes. So you can create follow me step by step because I want to do step by step for the beginner that you want to learn the Laravel 5.5 latest version. And you can see the introduction how to create the migration. This is the a migration scheme we use the migration because we want to the schema into the table yes how to generate migration did you know that yes, you when you create the migration you can use like this yes with the migration we run with the artisan command so in the Laravel when we install the Laravel created the info migration to table of first Create user table and the second table password reset. Yes. When we use like this, uh, when we run the migration, the the when they show the error for you. For example, before you create the migration, you can create the database name. Yes. And this is the database name that I created before already, so you can create by yourself. And this is the user root. The, this is the password database. If you have, you can input here. Yes. Yes. So I want to create the table country. For example, you can copy here. You can create it like this, or you can create like this more. Yes. For example, I can copy here. Yes. And we replace the user. You can replace here, for example, user countries. And this is we want to create a table country. Just press enter. So the message created migration. This is the that created countries table. So as you can go to see the migration, you can see the table. Our country, yeah. This is the table when we create into the database name. Yes, this is the default that Laravel created for you. If you want to know about the data type, you can go to see the Laravel.com and scroll down. Yeah, this is the available column type, so you can create big. It's a big agreement, big INT, binary, boolean, char, that you can uh, create like this. For example, I want to create the country name with a string. Yes. For example, you can create like this. I copy here. Yes. This is the string that we want to uh, use the string store name. This uh, in the database. This is the variable that we want to is, uh, declare. Yeah, you can just delete this. This is the index into the table that we want to install the character. Yes. This is the timestamp that we will create update that and create that into the table. So before you can run, you can uh, change. Yeah, you can change the in, you can change lanes for example I want to use the hundred and the in touch here I use the hundred yeah you must be like this for example we want to uh, go up Yeah, you can see the create like this and you see the drop down then let's uh, run migration into the best you can copy here okay yes i pass when i press the enter uh, the database is uh, there is uh, the four tables so you can press enter sorry Yes, press enter. Yes, 
migration tab box created successfully. This is the tab box that we create. Yes, you can see the tab box in the database, but uh, we can refresh. Yes, you can see the tab box country, migration, password, and user. Okay. So you can check the value you link, for example, I check the country. You can click the structure. Yeah, 100 that we uh, limit a uh, charge character into the country name. Okay. And now you can go to see the uh, other again. You can, for example, if we want to do it again, you can copy here. And if we want to delete the table in the database, you can use like this, for example. Yes. When I press this enter, yes, mean that the row base pre, uh, the table in the database is uh, delete all. So you can go and then refresh. Yes, you can uh, to see the table that deleted already. But this is the migration. There is no delete. Yes, because migration to bytes when we run migration create a over and over again. Yeah. Or you can uh, use the artisan migration rock based step. Or you can use reset. Yeah. Okay, create a ball, you can use like this. So I saw use already. Yes, column data tiles, column modify. So I want to create the schema using migration with the relationship. So you can go to create, for example. Before we create a tab board relationship, yeah, you must to know it's a for this tab board that has primary key and connect to the foreign key tab board, for example. I want to create such. Yes, you can use the list like this. So like this. Yes, press enter. Yes, this is the this is primary tab board that we use the relationship with the student the tab board because. Uh, we must agree at first, yes, because this is the as a primary key connected to the student. Okay, so you can use table and set. Okay, so you can use like this. Oops. Yes, string. And you can use string, so you use 10. Okay. And we close code. So, and then I want to create the student table for, for example. Yes, press in turn. Okay, so the primary key is student. They use like this, yes. So I want to use the relationship for example.
Okay, right now I want to create the relationship uh, so to the uh, table side. For example, you can use. Yes, right now we uh, so to create a relationship uh, so with the table side. Okay, so you can go to the migration and you can uh, you can see the foreign key construct yes but we can uh, so we must create the lemon name for example okay i need to copy here Yes, you know already all the program is uh, when we create the primary keys is a uh, number to number, string to string. Yes, you can use, you cannot use a different as uh, a constraint data types. Yeah, because the same, this is the integer default. So when we create to relationship, you can use the integer and sign, or you can to know. Uh, on the online, yes, so CID. Yes, so right now we create the field already with the site, but we want to use the relationship to kind of copy here For example Yes So you can use pass I references the ID in the search table. Okay, I close here. Okay, this is the ID references. Yes, this is the table search. This. So I run. Yes, I run the migration again. So you can to see the database again. Yeah, there is another table. So I choose. Yes, we run the migration. Yes, cannot create error for key. Oh, after student at constraint student is for key. Case we go to see what's happened. Yes, I created a table so you can just like this. Yes. Okay, there is the right table, so I want to run again. What's happened? Already this? Oh. Yes, you can delete because when the error table created this already. Okay. So I want to delete. Yes. So I run again. What is it? Users already exist. Okay, so I delete again. When the error like this, you can use the migration error base. So I want to run again. Yeah, as you can see, migration table created successfully. So you can refresh here. You can see the table if you want to use the error base.
tabbar delete here from the database case and I want to run again to the end again yes create it successfully so you can refresh again so right now I want to see the relationship or not so you can use the database and you can click you can clear designer and you can see the table of student have a relationship okay right now we create uh, successfully the relationship with the student and the size primary key and you can as a great add like this, yeah, for NK, reference ID on user on the list, drop for NK, yes, I think you can create as a by yourself on the laravel.com, so you can uh, to see the migration, yeah. So, as I uh, this is the just time that I want to create uh, migration already the laravel 5.5 and especially uh, saying on the people and our visitor that to come a like petrol channel and uh, so don't forget to like share or subscribe my video yes okay say goodbye